Hadacha, additions to Esther 4. After these things, when the wrath of King Achashverosh was appeased, the rather he remembered Eth Vashti, and Eth what she had done, and Eth what was decreed against her. Then said the king's servants that ministered unto him, Let there be fair young virgins sought for the king, and let the king appoint officers in all the princes, rather provinces of his kingdom, that they may gather together Eth all the fair young virgins unto Shushan, the palace, to the house of the women, unto the custody of Haggai, the king's chamberlain, keeper of the women, and let their things for purification be given them. And let the maiden which pleases the king be queen instead of Vashti. And the thing pleased the king, and he did so. Now in Shushan, the palace there was a certain Yahudi, whose name was Mordechai, the son of Yair, the son of Shemi, the son of Kish, a Binyamini, who had been carried away from Yerushalayim with the captivity which had been carried away with Yahon Yahu, king of Yahuda, whom Nebuchadne Setzar, the king of Babel, had carried away. And he brought up Eth Haracha, that is, Echter, his uncle's daughter, for she had neither father nor mother, and the maid was fair and beautiful, whom Mordechai, when her father and mother were dead, took for his own daughter. So it came to pass, when the king's commandment and his decree was heard, and when many maidens were gathered together unto Shushan, the palace, to the custody of Hegai, that Echter was brought also unto the king's house, to the custody of Hegai, keeper of the women. And the maiden pleased him, and she obtained kindness of him, and he speedily gave Eth her things for purification, which rather with Eth, Eth, rather with Eth such things as belonged to her, and Eth seven maidens, which were meet to be given her, out of the king's house. And he preferred her and Eth her maids unto the best place of the house of the women. Ekter had not showed Eth her people, nor Eth her kindred, for Mordechai had charged her that she should not show it. And Mordechai walked every day before the court of the women's house, to know Eth how Ekter did, and what should become of her. Now, when every maid's turn was come to go in to, the, to King Achashverosh, after that she had been twelve months, according to the manner of women, rather of the women, for so were the days of their purifications accomplished, to wit, six months with oil of myrrh, and six months with sweet odors, and with other things for the purifying of the women. Then thus came every maiden unto the king Eth. Whatsoever she desired was given her to go with her, out of the house of the women, unto the king's house. In the evening she went, and on the morrow she returned, into the second house of the women, to the custody of Sha'agasha, rather, Sha'ashgaz, the king's chamberlain, which kept the concubines. She came in unto the king no more, except the king delighted in her, and that she were called by name. Now, when the turn of Echter, the daughter of Afi, rather Avi Hal-il, the uncle of Mordechai, who had taken her for his daughter, was come to go in unto the king, she required Eth nothing but what Hegai, the king's chamberlain, the keeper of the women, appointed. And Echter obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her, so Echter was taken unto King Echash into his house royal in the tenth month, which is the month Teveth, in the seventh year of his reign. And the king loved Eth Echter above all the women 
and she obtained grace and favor in his sight, more than all the virgins, so that he set the royal crown upon her head, and made her queen instead of Vashti. Then the king made a great feast unto all his princes and his servants, at even Akter's feast, and he made a release to the provinces, and gave gifts, according to the state of the king. And when the virgins were gathered together the second time, then Mordechai sat in the king's gate. Achter had not yet showed her kindred, nor eth her people, as Mordechai had charged her. For Achter did eth the commandment of Mordechai, like as when she was brought up with him. In those days, while Mordechai sat in the king's gate, two of the king's chamberlains, Bichthan and Teresh, of those which kept the door, were wroth, and sought to lay hand on the king, Echash Varosh. And the thing was known to Mordechai, who told it unto Achter the queen, and Achter certified the king thereof in Mordechai's name. And when inquisition was made of the matter, it was found out. Therefore they were both hanged on a tree, and it was written in the Sefer of the Chronicles before the king.